So in my not so seamless transition, thinking about my thesis, uh, my thesis is going to be in Newport, which I know there are a lot of Newports, but use your imagination. So I originally wanted to have my project be an adaptive reuse project where I respect the given context and place my building within a historical city with lots of artistic culture. So my original idea was to have my building be here, which is an old opera house which is no longer in use and it's been out of use for a few years now and they just don't have the funding currently to keep the project going. So there's nothing really going on within the building, but unfortunately I've been in contact with many different people and I just haven't been able to get any drawings or really any additional information about this building. And it's in a location where I wouldn't be able to modify the exterior of the building at all. So this is the Newport Opera House. And so it claims to be in the process of restoration, but I can assure you nothing has been going on in this building for a few years now. But since this was an opera house and it has that history of music and arts, I thought that this would be perfect both in location and in program for having my equal opportunities music and dance center for Newport. And then my second choice was right across this parkway where they have a restaurant, a few restaurants, a cafe, and in the back here they have this ballet studio which I believe is on the second floor. So I was planning on taking over this entire building and working with the interior structure of the building to make it into something that works for my project. And again, not much information was given to me on this building or anything like that. And I, again, was very limited in terms of what I could do to the exterior of the building and I soon found out that these two buildings would maybe not be the best choice for my thesis because I don't want to limit myself too much in my project. So I felt like this was a great location because it's kind of the center of the city so going with my idea of the equal opportunities aspect of my project I thought having it be between the less fortunate and the very fortunate areas of the city would be a way to be able to bring all of those people together. So since this area is all historical and is all under the historical society, I decided to still look in this area but at a different building. So I soon migrated to this area right here which has these awful strip malls that don't fit in very well with the context of the city and they're kind of just eyesores and I feel like the use of the buildings is not the best for this location. So you can see there's lots of parking around so I wouldn't have to add additional parking for my building. It's a very pedestrian friendly area so the idea of music and dance and education and equal opportunities I felt like this place or this location is great for the program that I'm proposing for this building. So currently I'm in the process of building up my argument for why the city needs this building, why this is right here, why this is the best location. I need to look at the climate information, the culture of the city, the history of the city, what this space was used for in the past. Um, I need to look at the zoning to, to know the specific guidelines that I need to follow in terms of the height, materiality, respecting the surrounding context. I also need to look at the topography. There are so many things that I still have left to do, but I'm so excited that I finally have a location for my project and I can start working on all these things and putting my book together. So that's where I'm at currently for this project. So right here, this is the Newport History Museum, which is actually used as a gift shop, which is really depressing. And right back here is where that awful strip mall is that I'm proposing <laughs> to place my building. 
So my plan is to demolish this building and in turn provide the city with my center for dance and music. for not having any physical models to show you but I assure you that in the next two weeks I will have many different models because actually for this studio we are not required to have many of the required drawings that we would usually have for these projects things like elevations and plans of every floor and long site sections we're relying very heavily on just model making and site models and conceptual models rather than drawings, which is really cool, I think. I think a lot more studios should do things like this to encourage people to build a lot more in physical model form rather than computer models, which can be helpful but also very limiting at the same time. This coming Friday, we have for studio kind of like a gate presentation where we will be presenting our t entire semester's worth of work to our professors and they will evaluate us and determine whether we can present for the final presentation day which is the following Friday and so that's kind of stressful so we just need to produce 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 and just have as much as we possibly can especially tons of models, so that's what I'll be working on for the majority of this week. For thesis, we have the start of our books due with all of that contextual analysis, historical analysis, culture, site analysis, all of that needs to be due by Thursday. So I've got quite a busy week ahead of me, but it's all exciting, stressful, but exciting. And so I'm going to try to get as much footage of all of that as I can for you. And I guess I should get to work now. Uh, have a great Sunday. Have a great week. I hope all of your semesters are going well. And I hope you're able to enjoy this great weather because it is so nice out. It's really hard to force myself to stay inside when it's like 60 degrees out. So maybe I'll work outside today. We'll see. Well, have a great week and I will see you next Sunday. It should be long enough that it gives them an idea of who you are and what your intentions are, but it should be short enough that they'll want to read the entire email. Because you have to remember that they're sometimes getting hundreds of applications. Be sure to mention at the end of your email that you have a the green roofs can then filter and absorb a lot of the water. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly show you a few drawings that I've been working on and a few models that I've been working on to give you kind of an idea of what I've been doing. There we go.